Um, our next, Adrian's going to be uh, our, our next speaker. He's going to be telling us about bailing and showing us. I hope that's what you've got in the bag. <laughs> Okay, so yes, um, I, so I study baleen, so I have some here, and so it's actually um, upside down there. It grows um, down from the top jaw, um, but basically two kind of important parts of baleen to differentiate between are there's tubules and there's bristles. So the bristles are what expose, are exposed here from the matrix, and so um, as this um, matrix wears away, these bristles become exposed. Um, but they're actually continuous, so they start all the way down at the base of the baleen where it grows from. And then when they're enclosed in this matrix, they're known as tubules. And then as they get exposed, they're called bristles. And so these bristles, not a whole lot is known about them and how they relate to the whole filtration process in general. Um, but one observation that I'm kind of basing my study off of is that they taper. And we don't know why, but I'm kind of using this observation as an opportunity to learn about their growth. So basically, there's two um, hypotheses that I'm differentiating between. So the first is that if tubules taper, then the taper of these bristles is a result of their growth, and that's just something that they have throughout their whole life. Or alternatively, if the tubules don't taper, and that's something that only the bristles possess, then that means that it's probably degradation that's causing these bristles to taper. And so that might be changing their properties in some way. So, so far, so first, I've con confirmed that bristles do in fact taper. So this graph is just showing the bristles at three different points. Um, from their base to their tip, and just showing that the bristle perimeter is indeed um, significantly decreasing. So, okay, so the bristles do taper. Um, and then I, by taking cross sections, I've looked at the tubule taper um, in the plate, and I've determined that there's no significant taper. So their perimeter is pretty much consistent all the way through the baleen plate until it's exposed. And so the way I did that was just by taking three cross sections, so from the base all the way down to right before the tubules are exposed as bristles. So you can see that picture there is from the left to right, um, the tubules all the way through. And so I can actually track the same tubule all the way through and then see how its perimeter is changing. And so that's what I've done. So by determining they don't taper, um, I realized that my second hypothesis is supported. So it's degradation that's causing this bristle taper. So knowing that, I kind of have a few next questions that I'm addressing that I'm currently investigating. So I know that these bristles are degrading, but I don't know what effect this has on their mechanical properties. Basically, I'm wondering if bristles that are more degraded, are they actually weaker? Um, and so I kind of have some predictions of different degradation um, within baleen whales. So there's two main types of feeding styles. So the one on the left there, um, these whales use they basically take a massive gulp of water and then they kind of forcefully expel it through the baleen. And that takes a lot more energy and a lot more force than the um, in contrast to the other style. So they, it's more relaxed, I guess, and they just kind of open their mouth and let the water flow through the baleen in a more unidirectional fashion. So there's some pretty big differences between those feeding styles. And as you can see, so the baleen on the right or on the left, that's the one I have here. And so that's from a fin whale and that's the more energy intensive style. So you can see that the bristles are a lot thicker and they're a lot shorter than those in the one on the right. So those are from the um, more relaxed style. So that's from a bowhead whale, which is one of the organisms I'm studying. And so basically I can see that the baleen itself, it's very um, different in morphology. And I'm guessing that there's different patterns of degradation within these species. And so I'm going to see if whether the mechanical properties of the bristles themselves, if there's actually any differences. And so knowing that, I can kind of maybe help to determine the function of the bristles in general and see if they actually have any advantage to the feeding process or if they're just kind of um, just an unavoidable consequence to the wear and the degradation of the plate itself. So that's where I'm kind of at right now. So I've determined that tubules, they don't taper. Um, bristles are probably degrading. And then now I'm currently investigating what um, effect this degradation has on the bristles um, and style properties. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions for Adria? <coughs> Pardon me, what age the the bristles start being produced? Um, I think they get produced um, pretty quickly, and the baleen itself 
like as the milk grows, more baleen plates appear, but the bristles are um, pretty much always exposed. Yeah. 